Hi and welcome back to the, the live broadcast at Euro Village. Uh, Supercharged. <laughs> <laughs> Supercharge. <laughs> yeah, that's there you go. so easy. Um, we uh, we're just uh, this guests coming all the time, yeah. and, and they're singing and they're uh, and talking, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> We've been blown off, blown and, away. Yeah, and we yeah. have our new guests here from our like favorite neighbor country, Norway. Margaret Bayer. Yeah, here we go. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do like this. <laughs> so uh, welcome. Thank you so much. It feels kind of strange uh, talking English to because this is what we you know. I don't understand. This is like the people from Stockholm, the city where I come from. Mm. This is what we do when we talk to like uh, uh, Norwegian people. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, but no, we should understand each other, don't we? Yeah. I usually understand a lot of Swedish, but I have to say that the Swedish have some difficulties yeah. uh, understanding me. You're kidding. Especially we're, in Stockholm. Especially yeah. in Stockholm. <laughs> exactly. Where are you from, Oslo? Or, or? I am from Trondheim, which oh, is oh, in the middle of the country, and we have a dialect, so I understand. Yeah, it's a right. That's yeah. the hard part. It's more like we we skip a lot of letters. Oh, yeah. That makes it even more difficult for s yeah. Swedish people because yeah. we are so yeah. slow. We <laughs> 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 are, but it comes. In, you know, I wouldn't so. say that. <laughs> I did. You know, what? You, know what? you don't have to say it. The thing is, I, I worked uh, uh, in a company before, and I had people working for me in, in Denmark and in Norway, and it blew my mind when I heard them talking to each other that, and they understood each other, not going the way through Sweden, Swedish, because mm -hmm. I didn't think that they would. You know, Norwegian and Swedish, uh, no, Norwegian and Danish. It would like I didn't understand how, but they understood each other much, much yeah. better. And I, I was totally lost. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <clears throat> let's yeah. back to you. <laughs> you are do, you're very active. You do like rollerblading. You climb walls. What? Yes, I've heard that. I uh, don't you, do any of these. No, things. really. No, or I used to. I you, used to climb a little bit for uh, exercise. You like, ski. No. No. I slalom. Okay. I slalom. <laughs> yeah, okay, do, let's move I on. Do, I do slalom. I think that's fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's not like a big hobby of mine. Ah, okay, you're not that active. No, no. But, <laughs> but how, how come that? I mean, you're you're a DJ and uh, like a, a that's, club. That's correct. Yeah, that's and, correct. And, and you race Whew. clubs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I mean, the the, out, the outdoor is that not really your thing, or, or is it? I have to say I'm kind of a night person. Yeah. Yeah. I like to get up around ten. Mm -hmm. I like to you know uh, make music around twelve, and then maybe go DJ at a club, but uh, at twelve again. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, I'm uh, that's more kind of my life. Okay. When you yeah. go to bed. Uh, if we get up at 10. <laughs> 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 <We're grown> up. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking 10. I was like, hmm, that's not enough. Soon, no, but that's, that, that, that's, uh, that, that's so typical. I mean, because we, I, I, I mean, Norwegian people, they're so, you're healthy and you're like, oh, yeah. that, that's like a, a Norwegian, Norwegian night person. Yeah, I go up at 10. It's like, yeah, the night, that's, that's not late, is no. it? <laughs> well, Everybody I, else is like up six and, and jogging, right? Yes, no? Yeah, but I have to, I have to. Yeah, right now I'm I'm getting up like uh, at at seven and eight working mm. out and stuff. I don't know what happened to me. Wow! <laughs> wow. Yeah, what happened? I want to get. I that. think Eurovision <laughs> happened. I'm but, like, yeah. Gonna perform in yeah, front of a hundred million people. <laughs> <laughs> but that's great though. Focus. <laughs> it's a very good motivation. <laughs> yeah. So your song, I feed you my love. Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, yeah, I. It's a song that I haven't written, but I really like it, and it's really my style and. Uh, uh, I fell in love with the, the kind of mystical vibe that it has. It's, yeah, you've heard it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay, I love it. <laughs> it is Thank so you. good. And you're a great singer. And, yeah, Thank you, you had, so much. Do you have that white tight thing going on? Yes. <laughs> going on. Yes. And yeah, it's beautiful. I, Thank you. Really nice. Good for you. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, uh, you do a lot of fashion. Uh, at least we've followed you a little bit on Instagram. Yeah, I uh, like to. You're very active there. Yeah, I like clothes. I yeah. like to show people nice clothes. Uh -huh. Yes. Tell me about how your story. How how did you end up in Eurovision? Oh, that's a long story. Okay. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started with uh, you know I was in Idol in two thousand four. Um, I uh, I was kind of the underdog in Idol. Mm. Uh, always like on the way out of the competition, but I I stuck. Yeah. And then I came second. And um, and then uh, I released a couple of albums. The the second album was very, you know, it's still very contemporary, very modern electro pop music. In 2006, I released that. But it didn't really, like, people have told me that it maybe was a bit too early to do that kind of style. Now it's very popular. Um, so I took a break after that album. And 
but I wasn't planning on taking such a long break, but I did. Uh, I've started writing more and more and more, and I always wrote music, and I was in the studio all the time, writing for other people and stuff like that. Uh, but I wasn't ready to give up my career yet. Mm. Uh, so I made a, almost finished an album, and then this uh, offer to be in the Norwegian Grand Prix came. Mm. And uh, it felt like there was a really good timing. And also a healer had told me to start saying yes a bit more. Ah. So, yeah, so... And here, now you're here. Yes. And you won the competition in Norway. It's yes. amazing. <gasps> See? I'm really happy. Do but you have that number to that healer? Yeah. I really yeah, yeah, need yeah. it. I, I need it. Yeah, I know yeah. you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, especially in this interview, you've been looking at me like I'm, every, t every question you're like, uh, what? <laughs> he doesn't get that much. <laughs> He's not in the music business. I love your ring, though. I can, can, yeah. It's, it's Kill awesome. for that. <laughs> it's awesome. It's cool. Yeah. But uh, why did you, why this long, the long break? Uh, I'm not sure. I like, I was in my 20s and I needed to be like a normal girl. Uh, and I needed to figure out, you can't do the music industry um, halfway. Mm. Uh, you, have to, you have to do it 100%. And I had to like, find the motivation on how to reach my full potential as an artist. Because every review I would get or everything would be, there's so much potential here and there's so much talent. But like, talent is one thing, but when, when are you great? So I wanted to be great, and I, I needed to work on that, and I did it, you know, low key. Uh -huh. Worked and worked and worked and worked really hard, and then I was ready to, to bloom. Ah. <laughs> but it feels like uh, uh, hearing you talk. It feels like your your career not a struggle, but it's been you're like yes, fighting a little, a little bit. About, yeah. yeah, a little bit of a struggle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was a, uh, a struggle, kind of like a heartbreak of. You know, I want to do music, but I'm not getting the, the attention and the feedback that is, I need to mm -hmm. be able to make this uh, a job, right. a career. So, uh, but uh, going to that healer really helped me. Like, you know, she, she healed my heartache over my previous failures and stuff like that. And, oh, just, cool. and just made me, you know, new again. I, yeah. I felt, feel so much younger now. I feel like I'm... I'm ready for this. You and you know? feel like it, it, we're sitting here, we all get very... Yeah, I did. So, yeah. It felt, mm -hmm. You uh, have this energy good. that makes us just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just soft and, and nice and are pleasant. You, are you doing a lot of uh, uh, meditations and yes. yoga and stuff like yeah. that? Yes, I do yoga, I do meditation. You can tell. I, I read a lot. Buddhism helps me a lot to, you know, when I was younger, I used to be very envious of other people, and I used to look at other female artists and think, well, she's taking my place, and I mm. want to have a hit bigger than her. And, and mm. everything that girls can be, get very, you know, use a lot of energy on. And then I, I, I read a lot about Buddhism on how to make yourself happy by wanting other people to be happy. Mm. And um, I'm, I'm so happy that I found it so that I, I can be more happy. Wow, mm. that's so great. I've heard, I have a friend that I've heard that you think is really, really hot. <laughs> uh, Anton Ervald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is smoking. He <laughs> is. <laughs> I have his number. <laughs> and we can take a picture later. Uh, yeah, And uh, we right. just, uh, yeah, I can just MMS mm. him. Yeah, say, cool. Of course. Give a little. <laughs> call me. I mean, vote for me. <laughs> but don't or call me. If you're Swedish, you can uh, you can YouTube when I'm doing an interview, and he's trying to explain how he became a singer. Yeah. It's the most fun thing because he doesn't really understand it himself. He's like, well, uh, it was his well, first uh, interview. Uh, uh, well, yeah, it was his yeah, first interview. Yeah, you know, he's young. That. that was fun. <laughs> young and cute, and talented. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so tell me about the the, the song uh, that you're gonna uh, do now. Oh, did I uh, oh did I ask this question already? Yeah, yes, I, we've I talked asked about it. that. Yeah. We can talk some more. About it's so it. warm in here. It's so, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, it's so it's okay. warm, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm looking at you. It's okay. But still, <laughs> <laughs> you did tell us. <laughs> what? And in an interview, if you had to choose between Abba and Lorraine, you chose Abba. Yes. But that's a difficult choice for me. Yeah. I think uh, Lorena is fantastic. Yeah. I don't mean to, you know... Uh, this her. <laughs> no, no I, yeah, not at all. Yeah. And I, I, I tend to like be very drawn to uh, Swedish music. Mm. I like 
like most of my favorite artists are Swedish. Mm -hmm. ah. I, I listen to them and I don't know that they're Swedish. Mm -hmm. Listen to them, love it, and then find out, oh, they're Swedish. Mm -hmm. Like everything else that I like. Swedish clothes, Swedish music. Mm. I'm not trying to, you know, get more Oh, yes, you are. Get more but, but, but I'm buying <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm calling. Yeah. <laughs> you feel, you feel you like got me. I'm a, 25% Swedish or something. Oh, yeah. cool. oh, that's Which that's are proud. your favorite uh, uh, Swedish artists, by the way? I, I, I'm, I really like The Knife. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. They're very inspiring to me, the mm -hmm. way that they push borders of what music can be. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I really like Lickie Lee. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she's so like fascinating. She's like a, a, a Vika or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I listen uh, to Veronica Maggio a lot, like her too. Kind of looked like her. Thank oh, you. you. Remind me yeah, of her. Thank you. <laughs> but um, you uh, performed today at uh, at the Eurovillage stage. Right? Uh, yeah, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. I mean, sorry, yesterday. Uh, and we filmed that, so we're actually going to uh, look at that. Uh, uh, and wow. we want to wish you so good luck in. Uh, good luck. You know, and you know that you're going to get the twelves from Sweden. We yeah, always do. because it's a, <laughs> it's a fantastic song. Please, so. Yeah, it is. A song. I'll, I'll be voting. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yes. So thank you for coming here in our warm studio. Yeah. We need some air. So. Yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are we? Uh, yeah.